Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to be making a bacon and onion roly-poly. This is a, a suet based pastry roll. Uh, so you roll the pastry out and you put some bacon and some onion inside, roll it up and then I'm going to bake it. You can wrap it in um, parchment paper and uh, aluminium foil and steam it but I'm going to bake mine. And it's a very, very tasty dish. Uh, we used to have it as children and I made it a few years ago, two or three times, and it was thoroughly enjoyed. So I thought it was about time I did the video for it. And it doesn't have too many ingredients, just the pastry, the bacon, the onion, and some grated stock cube and a little bit of salt. So I'll go on to the ingredients. And for this, I have 225 grams, which is uh, one and a half cups based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup of self-raising flour. That's flour which already has the raising agent in it. If you don't have that, you can use uh, 225 grams of plain flour, add three teaspoons of baking powder into it and mix it in thoroughly. And that will be just about the same. And then I have one cup, which is uh, 110 grams of shredded suet. Now you can get beef suet and you can get a vegetable alternative uh, which looks exactly the same. I have a pinch of salt and then I have two stock cubes. These are uh, what we get in the UK uh, OXO cubes and they're very easy to uh, grate with your between your fingers and your thumb uh, to sprinkle over the mixture. I have uh, 300 grams, which is 10 and a half ounces of bacon. That's 10 rashers of back bacon. It probably would be more like 20 rashers of the streaky type bacon or that American type bacon. And what I've done is I've cut that into pieces and I've gently fried it just long enough for the excess liquid to come out of the bacon and into the pan and then I've discarded that liquid because I don't want that inside our roll. And I have one onion which I have chopped fairly roughly um, and that's okay. And then I have some ice cold water. We don't need as much of th as this but I, I've got that amount just so that um, it's easier to spoon in. So I go on to make the pastry dough first of all and I'll put my salt into my flour and then I'll add the yeast as well and I'll give that a, a mix around. I should say I've got some milk there too which is just to brush over the top. You don't need to do that and you wouldn't do it if you were going to steam this. So with that mixed in I'm going to add the water and you don't want to add too much so I'm going to start off with um, two tablespoons and mix it until it forms into a a dough. Then you just add more water and continue mixing until you get that dough. And at this stage I will start to use my hand.
and with that dough mixed together like that and that took about eight tablespoons of water to combine uh, I'm going to put that onto my work surface so we can roll it out and I should say that I had my oven preheating at 200 celsius that's 180 celsius with a fan 400 fahrenheit and I have a baking tray and some parchment paper ready to take this uh, roly-poly once it's been rolled out and shaped. So with the, the dough I'm going to flatten that and I've got it on a, a floured surface and I want to roll that out into a rectangle And with that rolled out into a rough rectangle, I have patched it a little bit to get it as even as I can. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place the bacon all over the surface, leaving a gap all the way around the edge. like that and then I'm going to sprinkle onion over the top and I may not need all of my onion because it was rather a large one like that and then we take our stock cube or oxo cube or if you have um, some uh, stock granules or gravy granules you could use those I, I, I would think and you simply Crush that between your fingers and sprinkle it over. And I'm going to use two, but if you only want to use one, that, that would be good enough, I'm sure. That's good. So I'm going to take my brush and with a bit of the egg, you could use water, I'm going to brush all around the edge of the suet pastry dough. And I'm going to roll it up from the short side or short end. I'm going to roll that dough onto the bacon and try to roll it quite tightly without pushing all the bacon down further.
until we get to the other end and we seal it like that and then we seal the ends in as well and with it rolled and sealed I'm going to transfer that to my baking tray like that and that's then ready to go into the oven once it's been brushed with some milk or some egg and again you don't have to brush it if you don't want to but I prefer to do that so that it takes on a nice colour and I haven't added salt into the mixture the bacon and onion mixture simply because the bacon tends to be quite salty anyway and we're getting the flavour of the um, stock cube that was grated into it so with that like that I'm going to put that into my oven and I'm going to bake it for 15 minutes to an hour um, and so it should come out with a nice firm crust on the outside uh, which is a nice brown colour but inside it will um, be cooked through but the suet dough will still be slightly stodgy which is what a suet pudding is basically so I do that and uh, once I've taken it out of the oven and let it cool for a little while I'll come back and show you the results I baked the bacon and onion roly-poly for 55 minutes I've taken it out of the oven and it's been out of the oven now for about five or six minutes and I have cut it and this is what it looks like so it's baked quite nicely all the way through and I'll have a taste of this which I've just prepared for my dinner mm. really is very very good I get the flavours obviously and the saltiness from the bacon and the onion and I can taste that stock cube that I put into it as well the pastry is very well cooked and it will be slightly softer in the center but that's fine as well so uh, that's going to be it for this recipe it's actually a very easy recipe uh, it just takes that sort of 50 to 60 minutes to cook basically so I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please give me a thumbs up below the video and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for this recipe and I'll put a link for it below the video as well. And I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.